It's a particular pleasure today to have the First Minister for Wales with us, Karen Jones. And uh, it's not every day it happens, and it's a particular sort of uh, pleasure to have you, you know, here in visiting the Royal, the Royal Sixth. And, uh, you know, we're delighted to have you. I'm a member of the Welsh Assembly. What do we do there? Well, we basically control things like health, education, economic development, lots of other things, universities. So this building that you're sitting in was funded by the Welsh Assembly Government. What I wanted to do this evening is just to let you uh, ask me some questions. What do you think is the best way to get more young people involved in politics? What I will say is if you don't vote, you don't get a voice. If you don't say to politicians that you're going to vote, if you say, oh, I don't bother voting, you may as well just not say anything at all. Because the people who vote are the people who t get taken notice of. And that's why it's important that young people vote, so that young people have that voice. What can be done, or is being done, to stop the brain drain? I don't see anything wrong in people leaving Wales to study and living away from Wales for some time. What's wrong with that? If there's, you, know, you get experience, that's fine. There are lots and lots of people who, who leave the areas that they're from and come back in time. The trick for us is to make sure that when people are in their you know, 30s, should we say, maybe a family, and they want to come back, that there are jobs here for them. But I'd, I'd be the last person to say, Whatever you do, don't, don't leave Wales. You've got to stay here. You must never leave. We'll build a wall on the bottom of Aston Hill on the A55 and stack. <laughs> so it's, it can never be like that. You know, the, there have never been more opportunities to study. Okay? Yeah, things are difficult now with the economy. It won't always be that way. It's swings and roundabouts. But the one thing I would say to people is, don't let anyone tell you that there are limits to what you can do. Now, don't let anyone say there are only a limited number of jobs you can possibly do. There are lots and lots of opportunities out there and look at everything before you decide what you want to do with your lives. Yeah. Um, you've been through exams at the University, University of Aberystwyth yeah. um, and then law exams. Yeah. Um, do you have a, world, a word of wisdom, a pearl, to actually help us succeed in our exams tomorrow? Focus very, very carefully on what the question asks you to do. Okay, don't try and write everything down that you know about a particular subject. Focus on the question and really stick to your timing. What you don't want to be doing is having to answer the last question with 10 minutes left. Do what you think is your best and do your best and be proud of what you've done. And if you're proud of what you've done, then I'm sure you'll get the result that you should have. Yeah. Um, could I say that I'm sure that all of you will do brilliantly in your sociology exams tomorrow? Because it's not every student in Wales that gets direct advice from the First Minister <laughs> a few hours beforehand. So we look forward with interest yeah. to those particular results. So thank you very much indeed and uh, hope it all goes well. Mm -hmm.